iawn ar ran y sioe frenhinol a cystrwll ffermio heddiw i lawnsio yr agri academy ac Forum Bobl Ifanc gyda'r sioe frenhinol tri peth pwysig iawn i ddyfodol y diwydiant a gwysio'r diwydiant y sioe. So today we celebrate two important landmarks in the annals of both the Royal Welsh Agricultural Society and the Welsh Government through our Farming Connect service. The Society will launch its new Young People's Forum and we're also here to announce the successful candidates who have been selected to take part in the prestigious new Farming Connect Agri Academy, an innovative new project which will see those selected embark on an, an ambitious programme to support and develop them as future agricultural leaders and entrepreneurs. There is, of course, a very obvious synergy and link between those two ventures, and I'm particularly delighted that the Welsh Government and the Society are working together on both the Young People's Forum and the Agri Academy Rural Leadership Programme. The Society's Young People's Forum is an exciting new initiative for individuals aged between 18 and 35. We're just out of a job. Just about. To promote the aims and objectives of the Society and to receive their views and comments on the Society's events and activities. Past winners of Society Awards, scholarships and bursaries have been invited to serve on the Forum together with two people from each of the Society's County Advisory Committees. And every member of the Forum was invited to apply for the Agri Academy Rural Leadership Programme. The Agri Academy heralds a first for Farming Connect. Launched in 2008, our flagship support service for farmers and foresters in Wales is, I believe, the envy of many other countries. Its wide range of support services and knowledge transfer events are focused on developing and improving the business of farming to ensure that Welsh farm and forestry businesses are sustainable, they're safeguarded for future generations, and of course they're supported to meet current and future challenges. The Agri Academy will support and develop individual farmers and foresters who can demonstrate that they have entrepreneurial flair or leadership potential, and most importantly, the drive to succeed not only as farmers, but as wider business people too. The project will run both this year and next, and has two distinct elements. We have the Business and Innovation Programme and the Rural and Leadership Programme, which is the element we are running in collaboration with the Society. It was no easy task for the judging panel, chaired by Wynne, to select the best of the rest. The band has started early before the awards have been awarded. Never mind, we'll carry on. We had a grand, he grew up with Sir Yenith, Edric Manny Well, the talents he gave in Company in Cali at Nabod, and Edric Man, of course, he grew up there in the Sir Yenith, and he grew up there the As we have heard today, the Agri Academy programme aims to inspire the next generation of entrepreneurs and leaders for rural Wales. We're grateful to have had the backing of so many leading Welsh agricultural and rural organisations who have supported and encouraged applications from an excellent group of candidates that we see before, before us today. And I'm delighted that so many of you have been able to make it here today. The Royal Welsh Agricultural Society has also recognised the importance of young people and this year established our new Young People's Forum. This is another golden opportunity to provide a supportive platform which will bring people together for some of the most promising and loyal supporters of the society and agriculture in Wales in the future. I would now like to introduce Mr Cyril Davis, Vice Chairman of Council, who will say a few words about the Young People's Forum. Cyril. It's a delight to stand here, although I'm short legged, I can't see over the lectern just about, but uh, I'm delighted to be here on behalf of the Royal Welsh Board just to launch the Young People's Forum this afternoon. The Rural Leadership <laughs> Programme, and this again um, joint between Mental and Business Royal Welsh, Dos Arwynydd, Gidar, Shwebrenhinol a Mental Business. Alphabetical order for the Christian name, not the surname, so don't get too excited. We just like to keep the tension going. Rural Leadership. Ale Jones from Bills Wells, Catherine Akelney from Tully, 
Christopher Hanks from Barry, Craig Ingram from Clanbury Dog Wells, David Miles, Haverford West, Dylan Wynne Williams, Harlech, Edward Nutting, Talathin, Emily Davis, Haverford West, Gay Lewis, Newtown, Keith Williams, Clanbury Dog Wells, Kerry Davis, Brecon, Brahiniog, Mark Williams, at Welshpool, Neris, Llewellyn Jones, Pim Science, Nick Davis, Andrew Dud Wells, uh, Robert Wynne Evans, Bob Bermo, Barmouth, uh, Sam Carey uh, from Cross Hill. <laughs> so, Thon Gavachiadai, Kalonog, Yawn, Idachi, Arini, <coughs> Roy Darrer, B. D. Lordreth, Bonnie Midi Pico, Pumsag, or the New Eddy Pump Pico, Ian Arpumsag, or the Creonachi and Margaret, I went in Kavla, Ian Achwaneko. Agri Academy Business and Innovation, Duplicate Business, Agar Loisi, with Yanis, Etor, and Okansa Tremna with her, Aled Haynes, Wellspool, Alwyn Hughes, Dan Roost, Angela Davis, Prater, Anna Jones, Treadreith, Diane Evans, Bringwin. Diane Evans, not Diane Evans, bring Gwyn, sorry. Theon Wynne Davies, Castell Newydd Emlyn. Theon Wynne Pew, or Dolgetha, Matthew Roberts, or Geirwen, Sean Hall Jones, or Llanbed. Thomas Allison, or Cross Hill. Thomas Lewis, or Ponta Clean, a Will Pritchard, or Haberford West. Eto, Dan Gyfarchiadau, Calonog, i chi, i gyd. A gwelli, dos am ond, i mi, Roy a Dioch o Galon i'ch i gyd am ddod yma ac edrych ymlaen am y cyfarfod chi yn y dyfodol. Yn enw i di Robert Twin Evans a dwi'n dwad o Solfaen Gera Bermo. Um, a trwy'r Academy Amaith dwi'n gobeithio e hangi'n gorwylion a cael dipyn o addysg oherwydd na chyfaith sy'n llawer o addysg yn yr ysgol a trwy hynny dwi'n gobeithio gallu mynd i arwain yr er, 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 amaith oddiaeth yn y dyfodol. Neris Llywelyn Jones yn enw i'n dwi'n dod o Pim Saint yn Sir Gyfarthyn. Um, beth dwi'n gobeithio yw y byddai i'n dyblygu sgiliau fel arweinydd fel rhan o'r rhaglen Agri Academy um, a byddai hynna yn cyfle hefyd i gwrdd â'r pobl eirydd felly sydd ar un um, uh, deheiadau o fi a felly sydd gyda'r un gobeithion am y diwydiant a methyddiaeth yng Nghymru a, a sydd gennyf i ar mwyn um, gwneud y siŵr bod pobl sydd allan i Gymru yn gwybod uh, beth sydd gyda ni a beth yw'r uh, manteision o, o a methyddiaeth yng Nghymru. Enw fi yw Sean Hall Jones, yn mynd o'r Llanbed, rwy'n mawr y rhaglen busnes a arloesedd, rwy'n mawr i ddysgu am y byd amaith a'i hangi bydd i alltwriaeth. Y rheswm am wneud y rhaglen yma yw achos rwy'n newydd i'r byd amaith. Rwy'n rhywbo bant yn dysgu am tair mlynedd. A rwy'n gweld y rhaglen yma fel profiad gwych i helpu i ddysgu. A i ddi allai cael mynd nesa i ffarmu gytre a i'r byd amaith. My name's Angela Davis and I farm in the Allen Valley with my husband Tony and I applied for the business and innovation course because we are very aware that there are lots of changes happening in agriculture, the CAP and so forth and really I want to equip myself with as much knowledge as I can gain to help us make the right decisions as to how to take our business forward. Ben o'i yw Emily Davis a fi'n dod o Hulffordd. Uh, Mae'n anrhydedd enfawr i ennill uh, safle mynyn yn y rhaglen uh, ar wynyddiau. Mae'n ffantastig a fi'n edrych ymlaen i ddatblygu fy sgiliau i cael cyfnogaeth uh, tu ôl fi gyda pawb arall.